It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Hello, thank you for watching. My name is Mikesh, and this is my Toyota Corolla e AE92 1.6 GTSI engine. Thank you, Scotty Kilmer, for allowing me to start on your YouTube channel with my Toyota Corolla. I know you're a big Toyota fan, so it's great to have this Toyota on your show. It's, as I mentioned, the AE92 1.6 GTSI engine. It's the five-speed manual transmission, left steered. It was built in Germany, 1990, so it's the facelift version. As you can see, it's the hatchback. Now let's look at the most important part of the car overall, the engine. Now, the engine. As you can see, overall, very simple design. Of course, it's the Toyota engine, it's 16 valve. The 4AFE engine, not to be mistaken with the 4AGE engine, which is also a GTSI version with electronic injection. Um, but the 4AFE version came before the 4AGE uh, Toyota Corolla engine. Now, when you look at this engine bay, everything is displayed very simple, but do not think that this car is not powerful, for that it is. As I said before, it has 116 horsepower. It was used for rallying back in the day, so that tells enough about the engine. It's very powerful, very durable, very reliable. It's just a very great engine. Now this Toyota Corolla E90 was built between 1988 and 1992. This was the sixth successful reincarnation of the Toyota Corolla model. It was very simple, it was very high quality and very high reliability. Now, a little fun fact. About the Toyota logo we all know today. This Toyota logo was introduced with the 1990 facelift Toyota Corolla model. Before 1990, this just spelled out Toyota. Now let's rev the engine up a bit and after that we'll talk about Toyota's history overall. Wrapped up the engine a bit, we can talk about the history of Toyota Corollas overall. Now, the E80 series, the predecessor of the E90 series, was built with front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and four wheel drive. Now, this was in Europe, of course, and the E90 series was only built with front wheel drive or four wheel drive in Europe. Well, I think it's a shame actually, because rear wheel drive is extra spicy with this amount of horsepower. Uh, in the Netherlands, there was the three-door hatchback, the five-door hatchback, the liftback, the sedan, and the wagon. Now, the sedan and the wagon were built with four-wheel drive as an option, and the liftback and the hatchback were built with this spicy GTSI version. Now, there's actually quite a lot of space back in here. You have all these Toyota original tools, even this little sack with small tools in it. Things like this screwdriver from Toyota, made in Japan. Now I think that's amazing. Even some stuff to jack up your car, like every car has, to replace a tyre and so forth. And all of this fits back in here. It's not only the horsepower that makes this Toyota Corolla special, it also has its looks. It's quite sporty. Now, you can see it at these black plastic bumpers with the red lining. It has black side skirts, again with the red lining. The car is currently on its winter tyres and winter setup. It has coilovers installed, which are a bit higher and a bit less stiff now. You have the antenna. This window opens from the inside. Around the back, we have the spoiler, plastic bumper, black with red lining, my own Mad Max sticker over here, 1.6 SI, so it's Corolla, that looks beautiful. Going down, 
we see uh, adjusted chrome exhaust pipe with the original Toyota mud flaps. Here we have the original Toyota wheel caps and again the side skirts. Now onto the interior of this Toyota Corolla. Let's begin with the glove box. Here we have the Toyota manual. So that's in here, quite a lot of space there. As said, it's the five speed manual with the handbrake and these lovely sitting sports chairs. In the back here, we have a little trash bin for the people sitting behind you. Now onto the front, here's an ashtray and a cigarette lighter. Here's space to put your stuff. Then there's the heating and cooling system, which works magnificent. Then here's just a modern audio system radio, which is a lot better than the original cassette recorder, which is quite a hassle to get working correctly. Now onto the dashboard features and driver seat features. Down here we can easily adjust the side mirrors electronically and the headlight heights. Now onto the steering wheel, a three-pointer, especially made for racing with good grip. Behind the steering wheel we can put on the rear windshield heating. Now as you can see this car has driven about 188,000 kilometers with it, which is 115,000 miles. Now, to the left of the steering wheel, we can lock and unlock the doors, fog lights, on and off. And here we can adjust the brightness of the headlights. Now, here left under the steering wheel, as you've just seen, is the pull norm button with the little gasoline sign. Which basically means when pulled, it retards the ignition timing of the engine. So when you have bad quality fuel in your fuel tank, the car engine runs better. But when you have normal quality fuel or high quality fuel in your fuel tank, just leave it the way it is, don't touch it, and your car will run perfectly fine. Now onto the steering wheel. This steering wheel is adjustable in height, high and low. Of course it has a horn. And we have an economy meter. This economy meter runs orange when you're running above 2000 RPM, which means you're driving inefficiently for your fuel. And is green when it's under that, and it just means that you're driving efficient. Now, next to the economy meter, we have a digital clock, which of course you can adjust yourself. Now, I'd like to thank everybody for watching and thank Scotty Kimmel personally for allowing me and my Toyota Corolla to start on his YouTube channel. I hope you've learned a bit about Toyota and this Toyota Corolla. You know, this car is just everything it should be. It's fast, it's spicy, it's reliable. And I think Scotty Kilmore will share this opinion with me. Toyota just makes the best cars in the world. Well, that was this week's video. And remember, to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.